Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 8th of 2022. Well, it is titled moon in inverted colors. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of our moon and it will not look like what you're used to looking at when you see the moon because the colors have been inverted. And in this case, they've been inverted and then also exaggerated to bring out some detail as well. Now, this is very similar in a way to a negative image. So if you just took a black and white negative of the moon, you might get something similar to this. Now, why would you want to look at a negative image? And one of the reasons is detail is much easier to see on this type of image. Your eye is better off at picking out the dark uh, detail on a light surface than the other way around. So trying to see uh, black dots on a white background in an inverted image for stars is much easier than seeing having a black background with the white dots on it of stars in the true image. So it allows to see more detail and to pick out fainter objects than you would otherwise be able to. And you can see some of that here where you can see the details within the rays of some of the newer craters on the moon. Uh, when a crater occurs and is relatively recent, it throws material across the moon's surface. And we see those rays spreading out from the crater impact itself. Now they will not last for a, a too long of a time, maybe millions of years, which on the moon is a relatively short period of time. And they will slowly be worn down by impacts on the moon as we slowly have more and more impacts will wipe out those craters, uh, those rays eventually. So you would no longer be able to see them. So the fact that we can see those means that those are relatively recent craters. You can see many other impacts. And if you just go look through the detail there on the right hand side, which would be part of the highlands, which of course appears dark instead of light here, you can see craters on top of craters. When you look at the Maria, remember those are normally the darker regions on the moon. Here they're going to appear lighter and you see far fewer craters and a lot of craters that have been wiped out by lava flows many billions of years ago. So we can still see the remnants of those. And then of course we have the few newer craters that have landed on top of these giving us uh, the newer features that we use we're seeing on the moon. However, overall, the moon still looks much as it did billions of years ago. And if you could go back a billion years in time and look at Earth and the moon, we would see that the moon looks roughly the same. Yes, there may be a few new craters, but the overall structure hasn't changed in a billion years, whereas the Earth looks quite, quite different. So that was our picture of the day for March 8th of 2022. It was titled Moon in Inverted Colors. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Martian Rock Flower. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.